Hello everyone and welcome to the sixth and final episode of this little mini series in the Chess Nerds Chess.com Rapid Tournament thing. Uh just very random. Uh, I thought I'd join because I was gonna record anyway, and then I saw this was starting in like three minutes. So I was like, hey, let's give it a go. If you haven't seen the previous episodes of this series, obviously games one to five, then the playlist is linked below. So I would encourage you to check that out. The last game that we played, my opponent blew me off the board at the end um, in spectacular fashion. So fair play to him. At Vienna now in the final game, let's see if we can make it four out of six, which would be a positive result, obviously. My opponent goes into a line of the Vienna that is very, very dubious for black. And if my opponent goes queen f6, we're going to get an interesting game. He does. <clears throat> this is theory. And I'm basically just telling my opponent, look, you can have my f2 pawn, but you're not mating me and you're going to lose because of it. Because of these threats and this and this. Oh my god, I can't draw arrows. And like this and this and this. Lots of threats. Uh, pretty sure knight h3 is the move here. Attacking the queen. Queen's only safe square is d4. Uh, of course he has to be complicated. Can I remember my theory? Probably not. Probably not. Probably this. Uh, I can't remember this. It's got to be queen g5 though, right? Queen g5, f6. Queen g6, rook h6. I think it's queen g6. Sorry, queen g5. If f6, maybe it's knight f6. <clears throat> the point is, I can't let my opponent take on g2. I can't let him do that. f6, if here, here. Okay, he goes back. All right, that makes my life a bit simpler. Let's go d3. <clears throat> protect the bishop, protect the pawn. Pawn c3 would trap the queen. That's kind of the point of this little gambit, really, is that my opponent's queen can just get completely surrounded. Um, bishop b7. Okay. I think I probably just retreat. Although my opponent also has a retreat square now. I don't want to take. That just helps him. I'm going to go to f5. I may regret that decision. Because this could be an issue. I feel like I messed that up. I think I've messed that up. I probably should have gone to g3. Because then after d6, I can go c3 and give my king the c2 square. This is a tough opening to play, in fairness. It's a difficult one. It's good, but it's difficult. See, let's see what he does. I mean, I'm expecting d6, of course. And then what am I going to play? Queen f1 is sad, but I might have to do it. Queen f1, bishop g4, king e1. I mean, this is the only safe square. So, I mean, I've got no choice. The reason I put the queen on f5 is because I was trying to set up these ideas. Like moving the knight, like knight e7 or something. And then with a threat of mate as well. 
That was my whole idea. I'm going to go to E1. I'm going to go to E1. I don't want to block my bishop in. I also don't really want to give him a check. Like taking the knight and then checking me or something. Maybe that's fine. But... Okay, knight e8. Sorry, knight d8 even. c3. Queen c5. I can develop with a bit of tempo, which is never a bad thing. Never a bad thing. The queen will find refuge on c6, I assume. But I can get some development in. Do I want to do that, really? I'm going to do it. To be honest, I actually could have maybe just gone Queen F2, followed by Rook F1, just to apply more pressure. But this, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. If you take, I don't know how viable that is. Because, I mean, ooh. But now your knight is under attack. The knight that's defending the mating square. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose. Still gonna try and create something because we're only down one pawn. My opponent's king is weak. I've got the bishop pair. <clears throat> the things are still decent. They just should have been better, basically. Bishop e6 is the move I'm expecting. No f6, okay. I mean this isn't even an attack, so. Because, like, the pawn is pinned. So I'm not fast. I mean, he probably was maybe hoping something like this to trap the bishop. I've messed this opening up. I should have just not gone queen f5 earlier. And um, instead gone... Yeah, instead gone back to g3. That should have been what I did, but... Okay, you live and you learn. A rook of one. If takes then takes, my bishop has an escape square. And I guess it's still difficult for my opponent to develop. Wow, okay. This feels like it's good to me, like good for me, but so see. Maybe not, because now my bishop is actually in trouble. Yeah. Oh, have I messed this up?
I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Oh, why did I... Oh, I... Why did I do that? Bro, I just... <laughs> so, my, my ultra epic plan was this. And then taking on d5 to put pressure on the knight. I just didn't even see this. For whatever reason. I... What? What is wrong with me? Now he just goes back. And I'm just down a piece for no reason. Oh, that is horrific. I didn't think I was that bad at chess. I have just allowed this with tempo. And I've allowed this. What am I doing? What am I doing? This is so bad. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? I'm going to try and set a trap. Of sorts. Probably doesn't work. In all honesty, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't even work. What am I on about? It, does, it has no semblance of working. There's nothing about this that works. Oh my god, this is so bad. What a horrible game. This might actually be one of my worst games I've ever recorded, if not like the worst. This is so tragic. I, I'm just giving away so many pieces for no reason. Just, just no reason, and I have no compensation. <laughs> oh my god! I need to go to bed. Literally, awful. I don't know why he's thinking for so long. <laughs> he's so winning. Winning. It's just unbelievable. Um, I mean, I'll still try, but like, this is tragic. Oh, and I've just blundered that. Fantastic. Yeah, okay. I can, I can resign now. I can resign. That was a horrible, horrible game. And I guarantee, I guarantee Queen F5 was the problem. Where was it? Wait. Wait, wait. Let me go back. Let me go back. Here. Yeah, Queen G3 is the move. Queen F5. So, wait, this is actually okay. How? The computer thinks this is good. Except it thinks that D4 is the move. Don't know why. Because it wants to trap the queen like that. Sorry, computer. I'm not finding that, bruv. I'm, I'm not finding that. I'm not going to realize that d3 allows my queen to support an eventual bishop b5 to cut off the queen's escape. I'm not that smart. Queen f2 is a mistake. What? Knight c7, queen c7, h3. Bishop e6. Okay, I get this. Right, because the pawn is pinned. But can't you just do this? Oh, okay, yeah, so then that would be mate. That is complicated. And the bishop's technically trapped. Well, I didn't see that. And I just instead decided I was going to lose all my pieces for no apparent reason. That was the logical move, of course. Oh, God. That's so bad. That's so bad. 
Well, we do not end on four out of six. We end on three out of six because I forgot how to play chess, apparently. And... Ugh. Fair enough to my opponent, but that is definitely one of the worst games I've ever played on video. I suppose the bright side... The bright side is that I have some big over-the-board games coming up soon. And I can get my terrible games out of the way here. So that is going to be the way that I cope with this. Um, it is pure copium, but it'll do. It'll do. I am knackered. Uh, click the video that appears here because YouTube thinks you're going to really like it. But I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.